Hey guys, welcome to another video of Hold Selects. Today I will show you how to use a dynamic rule feature of Hold Selects so you can have more control and automation over your wholesale pricing and discounts on your WooCommerce store. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, go to the dynamic rule section of Hold Selects. Then you can see that I have created multiple different dynamic rules. I can enable and disable them anytime that I want. Now we will click on create new dynamic rule, expand the newly created untitled rule. We can give a name to the rule right now. Let's just keep it at card discount. We will talk about rule status later. Right now, let's select the rule type. There are multiple different rules that you can select. There is product discount, card discount, payment method discount. There are about 14 to 15 and they will increase in number over time. And we will upload individual videos for each of these rule types explaining how to use them and what are they used for. So stay tuned for that. For this video, we will keep it at card discount. Then we need to select the user slash role. When we expand the menu, first you can see the all option. With this option, the dynamic rule will be applicable to all registered as well as guest users. Similarly, we have the all registered users option. With this option, the dynamic rule will be applicable to all registered users. And then we have all B2B roles options for users who are under B2B roles, specific users for specific users, specific roles for specific roles. For this video, we will just keep it at all. Then let's select the product filter. There is all products. So it will be applicable for all product. Product and list. So we can create a list of product that we want this dynamic rule to be applicable for. In this case, the card discount will be only applicable for the two products that I have kept in the list. Chairs and Boss T-shirt. If you want, you can also make a list of product that you don't want the discount to be applicable for. So when we select the product not list options, besides the product in this list, all other products will have the card discount. Similarly, you can create a list for categories to be included or a list of categories not to be included. And there are similar options for attributes as well. For this video, we're just going to keep it at all products. Now let's talk about card discount. We have to expand the card discount options. You can set the discount type as a percentage, a fixed amount or a fixed price. Let's just keep it as percentage and set the amount to Right now it's percentage, so maybe five. So it's gonna be five percent discount, and you can give it a discount name. Let's just keep it as discount card discount. Then we have the condition settings. These are completely optional, and they are in relation with the card discount that we set. When we expand the conditions menu, you can see there are five different conditions that we can set right now: card total quantity then is card total value card total weight user order count and total purchased amount the user order count and total purchase amount are only for registered users we need to keep that in mind so for example i'm going to select card total quantity then we need to select the operator you can keep it as less than or greater than or equal to the amount that we're going to set I kept it at greater than or equal to. Now let's set the amount as five. So with the condition that we have set, a user can only get this discount if they have more than five items in the cart. Similarly, you can change the conditions anytime you want. You can change it to total value, total weight, change the operators. They all work functionally the same except for user order count and total purchase amount. These are only for registered users. For user order count, you can set the number of order they should previously have to avail this discount. The same goes for total purchase amount. 
you can set how much the user should have spent before they can avail the card discount. If you want, you can have multiple conditions within a dynamic rule. So your customers will need to meet all the conditions before they can avail the discount that you set. You can have card total quantity to 5 and card total value to be more than 20 and even a third conditions if you really want to make it, you know, more exclusive. Finally, we have the date and the limit rule. From here, we can set the start date as well as the end date of the dynamic rule or the discount that you set. Once you're done, enable the rule by clicking on the toggle button. You can enable and disable it anytime that you want. Then click on the save changes button. Now let's see how it looks in the front end. Even though the dynamic rule is enabled, how will the user know there is a card discount going on? Well, Whole Selects has a solution for that as well. To enable visual cues for dynamic rules in the front end, once again from your WordPress dashboard, go to the settings section of Whole Selects. Now, go to dynamic rules. From here, you can hide and display the promotions based on the dynamic rules. I'm going to enable show promotions. Then you can change the text of the main promo. I'm going to leave it as it is. You can see there is the product discount rule type, but we're going to focus on card discount rule type. I'm going to enable show card discount on pop-up. Then I'm going to enable show label text as well. And if you scroll down, you can see the other rule type as well as conditions. I'm going to enable show card total value discount on pop-up as well. You can also customize the text if you want. I'm going to leave them as they are. Then I'm going to scroll further below. There is the discount validity. Remember the date and the limit that we set. We want that to be displayed as well. And I'm not going to change the text as well. Then finally, click on save changes. Now let's see how it looks in the front end. And there is a promotion pop-up. You can see we have everything that we set right over here. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions or suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon.